Good morning, everyone. It is Friday morning, 6.50 a.m. There's like a light mist on my windows right now. Good morning, everyone. We are going on a little field trip today because I need to get some supplies for my upcoming sewing project. I would love to make clothes, but before I get there, I gotta just get the basics down. My first class, we made a small pillow, and even constructing that took several hours. For my next class, things are getting a little bit more advanced. We are gonna be making a reversible tote bag. I have decided on a gingham print. I would like the exterior to be a larger gingham print and then the interior to be something smaller. I feel like I'm living my Project Runway dreams because we are gonna go to Mood Fabrics. It is fall y'all so I'm definitely doing some layering, turtleneck, an old eggy piece, Levi jeans, new balances, and then of course my song Mont Luna bag. Lastly, I have my materials list for my project. All right, let's head in. Not gonna lie, guys, there are so many options. Ooh, this could work. Micro gingham. I think there's one gingham print that's all the way up over there. So the final thing I need is strapping. I'm not too big of a fan of the sheen. It's kind of giving seat belt. And then there's also this one, which I'm not mad at. This one's a little bit of a thicker strap. It's really not that deep. I'm just gonna go for the larger strap. All right, let's go home. I'm heading out to my very first Friendsgiving of the year. Woo! Ashley and Drew are hosting their fifth annual Friendsgiving. And honestly, I look forward to this event every year. They really know how to throw a party. So I thought I would show you guys some outfit options I have for this evening. Since I plan on eating a lot, I'm gonna wear some stretchy pants. I know this looks like denim, but these rag and bone jeans are actually made from like some sort of cotton blend material so they legitimately feel like sweatpants and since it's actually getting a little bit chillier a turtleneck makes sense we actually think a belt would look good a belt is kind of like a necklace for your waist for my purse gonna go in with my luna bag from songmont also huge thank you to songmont for sponsoring this video and for manufacturing the perfect 
everyday bag. If you're looking for something with a little bang for its buck, look no further. The Luna bag actually turns into four different shapes. I mostly wear it as a shoulder bag like this, but it can change into a clutch, a handbag, and a crossbody. I've had this purse for officially a year now, and honestly, it's still in great condition. The gold hardware is fade resistant, and it's made from milled fine calf leather, which is super soft and supple. I could also wear this outfit. I actually wore this exact fit to an event a couple days ago, but it still hits. The trick with styling a baggy bottom is to style it with a fitted top like such. And of course, the Luna bag. There's like a little magnetic clip over here. I call this like my Mary Poppins bag. I can fit a little mini portable tripod, my wallet, my AirPods, and then my phone. There's even like a lipstick in here. It fits a lot. Whenever it is fall, the leather in my closet just calls out for me. Since the leather skirt is a little bit sexy, I paired it with a nice striped cozy knit and then my chestnut boots. With this look, I think it would be more appropriate as a clutch, take the handle off, and then you just kind of mold it into a cute little dumpling. It definitely looks more dainty and precious as a clutch. I'm also a big fan of wearing dresses for feasts like these. I think I want to add a vest to it to make it a little bit more autumnal. And the Luna bag coordinates perfectly with this. This is so easy to mix and match. If you guys are interested in the Luna bag, I will leave the link and a code for some cash off in the description box, so click it open. All right, let's head on over to the Friendsgiving. The hostess with the mostest. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, babe. Perfect amount. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Put your order there. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh yeah. That's Once you start using packing cubes, it is really difficult to not use them every single time. You're able to pack so many more of your belongings in one case. It does make your bag weigh a little heavier. Actually, this is not that bad. I think this is like a good like 38 pounds. Weighs more than 38 pounds. Yes. All right, I'm all checked in at the airport. We are going to San Francisco, baby. I am going for my third Portola. This is probably my most favorite music festival. Honestly, I've been really looking forward to this weekend for months now, ever since they put up the lineup. I was like, I gotta go. I'll show you guys my airport fit before I make myself a vanilla latte. It's very Americana, isn't it? I didn't expect it to be so red, white, and blue, but that's just what we're doing right now. This view is stunning, stunning. We've got the ferry building to my left and then the Bay Bridge to my right. We've got the interrogation light on. Ah, oh, gonna take these off. Like, oh, this is just like the best feeling when your trip has just begun and you're like, wow, what kind of shenanigans will we get into? When you are traveling alone, it's really nice to vlog because the vlog becomes the plus one. If I'm feeling lonely, I could just turn you guys on and tune you in on what's happening. Oh, she's a big one. I love that the closet space is right next to a window so I'll get lots of natural light. Oh, 
Oh, wow, look at that, a drawer. A drawer for my packing cubes? Maybe I'll just put all my stuff in here. Okay. I think what I'll do is I'll just start hanging like three pairs of pants in one hanger. Always pack house slippers for the hotel. For this trip, I packed my brand new toothbrush. It's called Suri. Dental hygiene is like my thing. So Christine recommended it. So I thought I would treat myself to a brand new toothbrush, but it's so sleek. Later on tonight, I will show you how it works or in the morning, depending how I feel. I am also on my period. Woo! You guys have been watching the travel vlogs. You are very familiar with this because it appears that I only travel when I'm on my period. When I say unpack, I mean unpack everything. Unpack everything and display it in a way where your future self will be like, dang, someone cares about me. Someone did this for me. That person's gonna be you. So I guess I'll be working here for the next couple of days. My little technology workstation. A chocolate delivery. Dang, this is a very, very nice box. Wow. Should I eat one? Mmm! They're delicious. It's like a dark chocolate, but not too bitter. With this very solid almond in the center. They're like peanut M&Ms, which are my favorite M&Ms. Back to work! 30 minutes later, the reel is done! Yay! Honestly, hats off to those who can edit videos on their phone. I do not know how y'all do it. That's like next level. I need to do everything on Final Cut Pro. I need to have a laptop out because doing it on my phone feels extremely claustrophobic. I need to have the tactile experience, but anyway, whatever you need to do to get things done. All right, so I just like zhuzhed up my makeup a little bit. Don't know if you can tell the difference. It's really just the lash that I changed into a thicker one. I don't normally gatekeep things from y'all, but I have been gatekeeping these eyelashes because I am terrified that they'll go out of stock because these are the ones that I always, always buy, but I just can't do it, I, got, I gotta share it. It's by the brand Amo. X8 is my daytime lash. It's like a wispier, more like flared out lash. That was what I was wearing earlier. And GM30 is my evening lash or when I want a little bit more of a boom. If I'm wearing any lashes, it's either these two. That's it, done. For tonight's look, I'm gonna be wearing these jorts. I never thought that I would own a pair of jorts because jorts are for people with really skinny calves. Or maybe that's like a rule I put upon myself, but if you notice my legs, I got some calves on these guns, you know? And so jorts only enhances how large they are. And I've learned that with jorts, it looks best with boots. Boots that cover and elongate the leg. Also, I love that I automatically know what I'm gonna wear because before I go on a trip, I will put on all the outfits that I will wear. I will take pictures of them and then I'll assign each outfit to that specific day, you know, or that occasion. I've done that thing too many times where I go on a trip and I just throw in a bunch of clothes and just hope for the best. But you know what's better than hope? Certainty. Certain that this outfit's gonna be fire on you, you know? Cause you never know. Even if you just lay out your outfit and take a picture with it just like on the bed, you don't know what it's actually gonna look like on. There's like the fantasy outfit and then there's the reality outfit. All right guys, I gotta be a little quick about this, but this is the fit. We're going black incognito mode. These are the jorts that I was talking about. Since I'm wearing the knee high boots, I feel like it's all very slimming. Underneath, I am wearing this like mesh rave top. I'm like kind of debating whether I wanna wear the hat or not. I think I'm gonna be a little cold. So I feel like the hat makes sense. And also I think it, you know, ties in well with the warehouse that we're gonna go to later. And then I'm just wearing my Prada coat. I forgot how close everything in San Francisco is. The restaurant is literally six minutes away. 
I must pace myself because we have a long weekend ahead. If I just have two drinks, maybe three, I will not be hung over the next day. Maybe a little tired, but overall functioning, alert, I'm fine. But once I go beyond that, that's hard. I'm questioning myself, I'm putting things off, I delay. Um, but yeah, I wanna make sure that I pace myself. So I'm gonna see if I can get away with two drinks tonight. I think that's possible. Now I should get the car. First up on the agenda, food. Okay, let's see what's on the menu. So I used my credit card points to get this hotel and with that came a $60 stipend every day for breakfast. Wow, it's gonna be ready in 20 minutes? Fabulous, and we are within budget, $27. We've got a lot of stuff going on today. Today is actually the day of the festival, day one. I'm gonna say I'm pretty proud of myself last night had three drinks in a span of nine hours. <laughs> yeah, we were out for quite some time. Everyone and their mom appeared to be out because it was a rare, warm San Franciscan night. That never, I feel like that never happens. Usually you're just getting wind slapped in your face, it's cold, but no, it was warm, temperate. I felt good in just a mesh top and my jacket. I made good choices last night and I'm feeling good. Overall, the only note I would have given myself it was to come home a little bit earlier so that I would have slept in. Do you brush your teeth right when you wake up or do you brush your teeth after you've had breakfast? Honestly, I flip both ways. Something says that it's more hygienic to brush your teeth immediately in the morning, but then the food doesn't taste as good. And then you just like have food in your teeth and you've got coffee breath. Does that mean that you brush your teeth twice? I don't know. Well, today I'm gonna brush my teeth as I get up. Yo, that was so fast. That, that was like 10 minutes and now the food is here. Oh, it's just water, but it's ice cold. And I just brushed my teeth, so the water is even more refreshing. Oh my God. Mmm. Let's see what this wrap looks like, shall we? Wow, that looks good. I feel like the night can easily get extended when you're at like bustling cities like SF because nothing is further than like 15 minutes. We started off at the Midway to go see Mike B and Teed. And then afterwards we headed to uh, SVN West, which is a really cool venue. It's like a, I thought it was gonna be a, like a pure warehouse, but it's not. The sound is actually good. You know, it wasn't, the, the sound wasn't like rattling off the walls like an air hanger. It was just like, the energy was fun. Was Tovlo was dancing up on stage. It was such a vibe. Mmm. Aside from the sleep deprivation, um, I feel great. Okay, let's try a potato. Mmm. And now let's try this wrap. Mmm. Mmm. My friend Susie's awake now too. She said that she's hungry. Do you want to have half of my wrap? I offered an invitation if she wanted to come over and enjoy this wrap with me. Oh. Mmm. I feel like the only time I watch actual television is when I'm at a hotel. At home, I am mostly watching YouTube. College football, college football, college football, golf. Here we go. Storage wars. The thing also with TV is there's so many commercials and they're always about food or prescription drugs. Wait. Yeah. No, is it gonna fit? I don't know, that like thing on the top looks really hot. <laughs> it's been an eternity since I've done like a get ready with me. Gotta apply some sunscreen. This is by Beauty of Cholzon. This is my favorite sunscreen if I know I am going to be out and about in the day and I'm gonna be putting on a full beat on my face. It's just a very hydrating SPF and it melts so beautifully into the skin. I feel like I literally look like a corpse right now. So I'm gonna add some color back to my lips. This is the Prada Lip Balm. At first I was like kind of concerned about how blue it was. And then I tried it on, I was like, oh, 
I understand why this is viral. Even though it looks blue, it applies pink on the skin. It's one of those things that transforms colors as it warms up with your body. Hey, look at that. So I feel like this balm looks different on everybody. For foundation, I've been using this Ilia stick. I'm in the shade Aspen. I would say that this is really great for dry skin. I like that at the end of the day, there's this slight glow on my face, but it looks very natural, almost like glass skin. Just very, very forgiving and flattering. For concealer, I'm popping on Giorgio Armani's Luminous Silk Concealer in 4.5. I've been liking the way it sets underneath my eyes. Skin is skinning. Who is she? Now I'm gonna set this off with a tried and true Laura Mercier translucent powder. For my brows, I'm gonna go in with Anastasia Brow Definer in Caramel. Like, I feel like this brown shade matches the root of my hair. So I feel like it looks like soft, but still defined. Okay, brows are on, baby. I'm gonna go with my daily eye look, but a little bit more bumped up. This is my favorite color on there, as you can tell. I usually just get my ring finger and then I'll just press this on my upper eye. But this is like a really pretty glittery champagne. And then with a fluffy brush, gonna go in with this brown over here and start defining that outer edges. And then touching that same color, gonna do it on my lower lid. I want it to be a little bit more dramatic, so I'm gonna pat on this darker brown. I have found my holy grail eyeliner. This is by Kiss. I'm gonna swipe on a quick cat eye now. I wanna add a little bit more vavoom. So I am applying this like super glittery shade right where we patted the original. And this just looks so stunning in the sun. Gonna give my lashes a lift and then apply a generous coat of mascara. We're gonna do the evening lash even though it's in the day. Dang, this just really amped everything up. For blush, I'll be using Onir Muted Blush in Celti. I feel like this is just like a beautiful burst of bronze. And then to add some glow, I'm using Clio Prisms Highlighter in Gold Sheer. And there we have it, my default going out look. I have drilled this look so many times and it's always a banger. We're gonna be putting her back on. Hi, I have blue hair. This means that festival mode has been activated. This is like my full Lulu Dallas fifth element fantasy. I might as well just take uh, my shoes off because we're supposed to be leaving the hotel at 3.30 and it's only 2.24. In your 30s and especially when you have children, it's really difficult to have those spontaneous nights with your friends because our time has shrunk. We got responsibilities, we're tired. If you've got kids, you have to find someone to watch them. It definitely requires effort to maintain friendships. I guess that's in all stages of life, even when you're younger, but I think as you get older, planning the fun is key. And I think my favorite way to spend time with friends is like a weekend away. And if you can have a festival in the backdrop of it, incredible. I just love festivals so much. I know they can be costly, crowded, loud, but I just love it. You know, I don't know. All your friends are, are in one place. You're having breakfast with them. You're walking into the festival grounds. You're admiring the art installations. You grab a little snacky snack, maybe wash it down with a yummy drink. And then you get to see incredible live music and dance. And I feel like a lot of the spontaneity and serendipity happen while you're just in this big playground with other people who have decided to set the time and resources to commit to going. Portola, it definitely skews a little older. It is 21 and over. And I think it's because the lineup is tailored to those in their 30s, late 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, I don't know, 60s, I don't know. With San Francisco, it's really a mixed bag. I feel like festivals are a great way for me to just like release some steam, dance vigorously. I have still yet to shuffle in public. Should I show you guys my progress? Yeah. I'm a little bit rusty because I haven't gone to class in like two weeks. Wow, I am, I am hot already. If I ever get cold at the festival, I'm just gonna bust into a shuffle. Yeah, hi. Oh, nice to meet you. Oh, thanks. Oh, yeah, do you want to say hi to the vlog? She recognized me. Wow. Hi, nice to meet you. Hello. I got the steak and rice plate, which I think will be good. I mean, also, since I'm on my period, I feel like I need to have more iron in my blood. Wow, thank you. Food is here. 
spirit. Wow, that was freaking fast. Wow, this looks incredible. Mm. So tender. I realized how out of place I might look. As I stepped outside, I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't bring my AirPods. Because sometimes when I'm wearing a really brave outfit, what helps is putting on some music and being in your own music video, you know what I mean? But I'm just raw dogging it right now. I promise I came here with people. You guys still have not met any of my friends. This is Susie. You know what I mean? Like, yes, you know, brave. Know what I mean? like hair. Uh -huh. This is Nate. Hi. This is Aaron. Hello. Tola, oh. baby, let's go. It's Yay. for Tola. Day one. I feel like we've been here for years. I know. <laughs> I feel the lights, because the disco ball.